and welcome back to the Give and Go. I'm your co-host Reynoso here with my boy. Soltero. What's up, guys? We're going to be talking about the women's final. Now set between the USA and Brazil. Surprise finalist Brazil after Brazil just defeated Spain. Four goals to two, brother. Yeah. Four goals to two. And let's talk about that game because this Brazilian team completely neutralized a Spanish team that I consider to be the favorite going into this match. And honestly, the favorite of this tournament. But ultimately, bro, Spain couldn't do anything, man. Bro, Spain got cooked. Mm. It was 4-2 on the scoreline. It should have been at least six for Brazil. In that first half, they were so wasteful because they crafted so many open, golden opportunities opportunities and couldn't put away any of them bro before the 45th minute only one goal was on the scoreline for brazil and it was that really bad mistake from catacol the spanish goalkeeper where she was trying to clear it but it was such a poor clearance didn't get any air on it hits the back of the spanish defender and goes into their own net really really bad mistake there from the goalkeeper but brazil had opportunity oh, after yeah. opportunity after that moment but finally finally they got a second goal and it was a beautiful one yes. dude Yasmin the left wing back puts in probably the assist of the tournament for me puts in a gorgeous curling ball and Gabi Portillo's there to put it and roll it in at then at that point two nil considering all of the other chances that were created too I was like wow Brazil's putting on a master class performance here against the reigning world champions and I just didn't see Spain getting back into it and they didn't no no absolutely not and considering that goal came right before the half ended it was that was a dagger yeah already with the way that Spain was playing. The back line was atrocious today. Gosh. The goalkeeper and the two center backs were a absolute mess. You're right. This could have been six goals. That own goal to start with Paredes hitting it off her, her back and then into the goal and then Portillo scoring. Fun fact, both of the scores in the first half are cancers. Zodiac signs, cancers. You won't hey, believe shout it. out cancers. Won't Big it. fan of cancers, actually. Yeah. This time they got, <laughs> they ended up resulting in both scoring in that first half. Brazil goes up 2-0 and I just couldn't believe it because... They're actually, they're on a really impressive run now in the knockout stages specifically because yeah. in the group stage, they lost two matches but still made it through on third place qualification, which is why I doubted them going into the knockout phase. First off, facing off against the host nation, France, in the quarterfinal and defeating them 1-0 at home. Crazy result coming into this game now also as a clear underdog and dominating the way they did in that second half with Adriana Leal scoring that third goal to mm -hmm. give them a 3-0 lead. Ultimately, it was Kerolin, the NWSL MVP of last year, who scores that fourth goal for Brazil and just shuts this game off. Fun fact as well, all the scores in the second half, Scorpios. Uh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know much about my Scorpios. I'm getting to the zodiacs recently. I'm getting into the I'm zodiac signs. It, my girlfriend has recommended I get into it, so I'm trying to, you know, start acknowledging and seeing the and see the patterns that are happening. And bro, this game had them. This yeah. game had them. There's a Lionsgate portal opening on the eighth, by the way, and <laughs> your your girlfriend's got me into it too, bro. I just want you to know that, man. Crazy. I, my, my, man, I'm Crazy. reading more into it, so yeah. Let, let, let's What's just, your sign? Let's keep this going. I'm a Libra. 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 Right, I'm a Virgo. Let's just put that out there. Yeah. Let's put that out let's there. Let's put it out there. The patterns will continue. <laughs> Continue. And ultimately, what makes me so excited about this result with Brazil upsetting Spain in, the, in that sense is Marta returning. Marta That's returning crazy. for the final, which is a huge narrative, a huge story, because I was fearful that a women's footballing legend would go out the way she did with a red card in that last group stage match. She will return for this final performance. And I wonder if she actually will get the star, bro, because the way this team played, they looked amazing, man. Yeah, they looked incredible. And honestly, they haven't necessarily missed her in these last two games. But Marta, the experience that she has really is so invaluable. She will make an appearance, whether it's off the the start or in the 60th minute expect to see her because this is this is Brazil's biggest match from the women's game in a very yeah. very long time so they're on an incredible magical run as you pointed out they've been so good in the knockout stage and honestly we'll get to it when we preview the final but I think they can keep riding this wave I think they're gonna have a great finals performance 100% agree what a result for Brazil what's the take on Spain then because yeah. we all thought they would achieve much more. I do think this ends up being a failure, dude. The way they went out yeah. was pure domination from the Brazilians. Yeah. I thought they had it in the back going into this match, but 
they just couldn't do it. And I do think that's a disappointing result given that Spain just won the World Cup and they had their full strength squad here in France. Yeah, I was shocked by this result. I think what got me more was just how mistake ridden mm-hmm. the defense was throughout the entire match. It wasn't just small spells throughout this game. The entire game, they, the defense was just so leaky. There's a lot of mistakes. The, uh, I think it was the third goal. It was also got that goal, having another poor goal kick and then not coming out to get the ball. So you consider half of the goals that Brazil scored, it was just pure Spanish mistakes that got them in that really bad position. I I just think they got a little nervous. Brazil's high press was very good, and those nerves never went away for Spain. And Brazil noticed that. They got way more confident as the game went on. And Spain, the last 20 minutes, pure desperation. So for me, Spain never settled in this game. It was just all erratic emotionally for them, and they couldn't figure out the tactics. But it's because Brazil's midfield press was way too tight, and it just made it very uncomfortable for Spain. And I think that's what surprises me, is because I, going in this tournament expected Spain to be able to handle these type of midfield presses yeah. because that's what got them through this World Cup run and got them the World Cup title was that nice silky passing. We saw it a little bit in the first 15 minutes, but it was completely gone after that once Brazil got into the game. So I don't know. Maybe it's just... <laughs> And maybe yeah. it's just that thing where World Cup winners have a really bad run the yeah. next year or something yeah. like that because the talent's still there. And they showed yeah. it in flashes throughout this tournament, but it just was not here today against Brazil. Yeah, disappointing. And Brazil ends up going through, and the team that they'll be facing off against in the final is the U.S. women's national team. USA. USA, USA baby. USA this is defeats huge. Germany 1-0 with a Sophia Smith game winner in the 95th minute. She's a Leo, and it makes sense watching her play. You can tell that she's absolutely a classic fire sign. She scored a beautiful <laughs> goal today with a fire finish, giving the USA the lead, a lead that they ultimately never gave back. What a performance from the U.S. women's national team because it's not just the offense that showed out. I think this entire tournament, the defense yeah. has been truly incredible with goalkeeper Alyssa Nair making seven saves and then Naomi the center back Gemini playing incredibly Love my Gemini <laughs> <laughs> playing incredibly this entire tournament only one goal allowed is ridiculous everybody stepped up and it was beautiful to see because this USA squad actually has me a Mexico fan by the way really excited about the USA squad yeah I mean you should be very excited because If you think about this match, and I know it went into extra time, only the second Olympic semifinal to go into extra time, by the way. I know it was tight, 1-0 win, but... I can't remember a genuine German shot on goal that was truly threatening, but it's because of the defense. Germany were great defensively and in the midfield. They made it very difficult for the USA to build comfortably and to honestly even have the ball. Germany was fantastic in getting the ball back from the USA, but the final third, that's where it broke down for Germany. They just couldn't create anything, and I mean anything against this USA defense. I'd say at most, there was just some nervy balls into the box, but that's all Germany could craft in this match the longer the game went on you could see that Germany's effort in the midfield and defenses it it was it was costing them energy the last 20 30 minutes of this match the USA just got more and more into the game they were holding on to the ball longer and longer and longer and once the game went into extra time I was just like there is absolutely no way Germany's going to hold on any longer they played as good as I think they I could have but simply put Germany just doesn't have an offense that could hurt the USA and the USA knew that no. they, they, they they took care of business at the back and what got them through you know their stars up front bro mm-hmm. Sophia Smith getting a really good goal Mallory Swanson had a really big opportunity I think in the 80th minute rounded the goalkeeper but yeah. had, had a chance to pass there. had a chance to pass and said she goes for goal hit side net it was a very tight angle but other than that Germany played great but the USA definitely were the better team no yeah Germany did all that they could. This is the same German side that lost 4-1 to the USA. So it made sense why they approached the game they did. I was surprised though because I thought they would sit back and kind of let USA come at them like how Japan did. But they actually tried to play them head on. Mm -hmm. Like Mm -hmm. like 1-1 type football. And it almost worked because they did expose what I think think is the USA's weakest link right now, which is their midfield. In the sense that they were able to retrieve the ball and get it back. But luckily the strength of the USA showed itself with the, the wingers, dude. The wing play is just so so dangerous with Trinity Rodman having the tournament of her life right now. She's been playing 
incredible, man. And then, like we mentioned, the big three, Sophia Smith and Mallory Swanson, linking up to score the game winner. It's just the fact that the defense has stepped up that has just really surprised me even more because Crystal Dunn, cancer, playing incredible football. And then I already mentioned Naomi, the center back, has been yeah. incredible, as well as the goalkeeper. This USA squad, what I really liked, what I've seen from them so far, is the fact that they are really, really gritty, bro. Really mm -hmm. gritty because this is the same result they got against Japan in the quarterfinals. Yeah. It was tight. It was nervy at moments. But they find a way to break through, through their offense, to then get the lead and secure the victory. That's a big development that we're seeing here with this USA squad when you compare it to what we're seeing now and what we saw at the World Cup yeah. just, just last year. I think there's an inch of, of experience that they've gained and also just a confidence that they all have. Maybe it's through their coach. Maybe it's through their own play. But Overall, this entire unit, all 11 women, look so much more safe now, much more confident. Yeah. And it's showing, dude, because two back-to-back -back win the results and knockout matches of this magnitude, I think is really, really impressive. I, I agree. I think that's the biggest takeaway that I'm getting from this Olympic run from the USA is even though this squad is very inexperienced when you consider that this team together have not won anything they're able to grind out these really really tight results and if germany like they could have gotten a goal off of a corner kick for mm -hmm. example japan got uh, honestly a little unlucky in their match against the usa but they take what was given to them they were able to score some really clinical goals and that's why i think the usa is going to be the favorite team in the final because i think you consider an entire 90 minutes, I back Sophia Smith, Mallory Swanson, Lindsey Horan, and Trinity Rodman to get one opportunity that I think their opponent would miss. I back them as a more clinical offense. I think the only criticism that I'm going to give this USA squad is they're a bit predictable when they go forward. Because when Rodman gets it, you kind of know what she's going to do. She's going to go at you on the wing. She'll cut inside a couple of times. That's not really her game. And when, she, and when she does cut inside, she's not the best passer to make the most out of those situations. So if you're that fullback, you know how to cover her. What makes Rodman so good, though, is that she's an absolute engine, bro. Oh, yeah, she man. sprints for 90 minutes. So sure, you might be able to contain her for 60 minutes, but the last 30 minutes, you're going to be gassed. And that's why the USA ultimately, I think, has gotten here because I just think we're way more aggressive offensively than most teams at this tournament. So I think it's going to be a great final, though, because mm -hmm. Brazil showed today that they may not be as gritty or as athletic, maybe, as this USA squad, but low-key, I think they have better technique, especially their midfield. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's going to make this final really interesting, bro, is I can't wait to see this Brazilian midfield kind of counteract this USA's offense four. I think it's going to be a brilliant final. Yeah, I was I was looking forward to the USA Spain final, but now that it's Brazil and seeing the path they've gone on, I think it's just as exciting, man, yeah. because those two knockout round victories that they got I just think are so, so impressive and you could argue they're coming into this game with even more confidence than USA, bro. They just beat the world champs. Yeah. Four to two, bro and it could have been by much more, as you mentioned earlier Brazil is as feisty of an opponent as you're going to get here at the Olympics I want to see how the USA responds the thing is, I do think they will because I just trust them more to come into this game with more discipline and more focus than what we saw Spain do today and ultimately match Brazil one-on-one -on -one in terms of quality, in terms of experience, and just outplaying them ultimately to get the result. I think the forwards up top are just in such good form right now that I don't see them slowing down, and I'm going to back that style of play more than I'm going to back this Brazilian attack and just team overall that almost relies on chaos, dude, because they're so good at creating it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how they react once a team starts out possessing them starts controlling the match how does brazil react in that those matches i think usa will possess the ball more and ultimately will end up getting the result because of that yeah so usa champions I'm going USA. world champions I'm at the going Olympics. usa man let's it's get actually, go for gold baby it's super exciting dude like yeah. i actually am surprised at how likable this usa squad is yeah. in comparison to the world cup team we saw and even in comparison to the men's team bro because this team is the one that stepped up in a in a summer of atrocities for the usa <laughs> it's the u.s women's team that has stepped up and absolutely put a show on display shout out to them i want to see it finish with a gold medal at the olympics folks let me know are you going brazil or are you going usa when it comes to the u.s women's summer olympic tournament the time is now let me know in the comments down below and let me know what's your zodiac sign Till next time guys peace